Hey guys, it's Matt from Geo Energy, uh, recording this video after the announcement this weekend from the Labour government with a pledge towards a home battery subsidy, which is going to be an extension of the SRES uh, SDC scheme that a lot of people are obviously familiar with. So this will form a rebate for those with existing solar, um, potentially even existing batteries as well, if you have a modular battery or a battery where you can increase the size. So this is obviously a pledge uh, from the government for the upcoming election in a couple of weeks time, and uh, I think will be obviously a huge game changer for the industry and a lot of homeowners um, that we're already taking calls from within um, hours of this rebate being announced. So let's get into exactly um, what's been offered here. So we sat in on the meeting yesterday with the Spire Energy Council and Minister Chris Bowen um, regarding this upcoming pledge for the subsidy. Work can continue to occur between now and the 1st of July, so the system can be installed. The battery just needs to remain off until the 1st of July. So we will then return after that date, perform the certificate of testing and obviously do some selfies for the battery, which will obviously then generate the STC rebate for that battery portion of the installation. Battery sizing can be between 5 kilowatt hours and up to 50 kilowatt hours that can be claimed through this scheme. A battery of 100 kilowatt hours can still be installed with 50 kilowatt hours of that 100 being claimed for, which will form a discount of close to $18,000, which is um, an incredible saving. So that's roughly going to be about $350 to $370 per kilowatt hour, so 9.8 STCs per kilowatt hour of storage. There'll obviously be a small admin fee from the ACP, so the people that are actually doing the training of the certificates on that side but it will be a huge overall discount. So the average battery installation we've seen this year has been 16 kilowatt hours. So we're obviously talking about a large amount of money there, $5,000 potentially to the homeowner. The system and the battery must be VPP capable. There's no mandatory requirement to actually sign up to a VPP, but the system must be compatible with that. So the batteries that we're installing, we install four different brands that are all VPP capable, um, of which a lot of those retailers are now pretty common. This rebate will work alongside existing state rebates and loans that are available. So in New South Wales in 2024, the PRC incentive was launched, which has obviously provided a great uptake um, of battery storage there from November. That'll work alongside this. Um, WA also have a proposed rebate. Obviously there's other loans and other ways that you can do this in certain states. So. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for to have this incentive towards storage. Labour have committed $2.3 billion to this scheme. That'll be obviously split up until 2030 with a decline expected each calendar year, similar to the panel SDC rebate, which is being phased out obviously over the next six years now. It's uncapped in terms of numbers, so obviously there'll be a variance in the amount of storage that each home installs. It can be installed across multiple properties, so if you have a solar and battery system for one property, it can also go with another property as well. At this stage it applies to, as I mentioned before, existing solar where we're going to add a battery, potentially more solar, brand new solar and battery installations, but right now it can't be for a battery only, so a house that doesn't have any solar panels installed at this stage cannot have a battery because this would obviously be quite a change to legislation. The goal here is to smooth this process out and make it as accessible as it, to everybody it possibly can be. So it's not means tested or anything else. You can obviously start with a small amount of storage all the way up to a really large amount of storage. I think the key takeaway for us is obviously this hinges on Labour returning to government, but speak to somebody that knows what they're doing. We've been installing and designing solar since 2011. We've been installing and designing battery systems since 2016. So a lot of experience there with different equipment, obviously single and three phase homes, some very large homes that require larger amount of storage. Because you get one bite of this, so whatever amount of storage you install on the first instance, that's what the STC rebate will credit for. So if you started off with a modest amount right now and then you wish to add more, you can obviously do that with some of the equipment that are modular designs, but this rebate will only be applicable for the first installation. So in the past where we've had a lot of clients that have started with maybe eight kilowatt hours or even 16 kilowatt hours with the thought to see how that goes for a little while and then add more. 
this really is the chance to have a larger amount of storage to cover what you need or you'll potentially need in the future. But reach out to somebody that knows how to design this. Understand what you want to do with this system if you want to have battery backup. Not all systems are made equally. So speak to an expert, reach out to us at Geo Energy. Let's design a system to build for the absolute future. Thanks.